Happy New Year, everybody from Eat, Read, Love family. We wish you the best for the coming 2020. Bye! Hi, Pisces. Welcome to your Happy New Year. What you guys have seen is a little thing that we have prepared. Happy New Year. It is January 2020. How are you? Oh, I'm excited. Why are you excited? It's a new year. Okay. Um, so I do talk a lot here. So if you're new to this channel and you just subscribe, you might unsubscribe. <laughs> just being real. I wouldn't subscribe to myself. Okay. Because I talk a lot. Okay. It's like, so, okay. But anyhow, yes. Okay. That's just me being real. Okay. So I go for a reader who, who reads right away. Okay. So, so but yes, but you're here because we love each other. We know that. We have a history. <laughs> Okay, so anyhow, let's move from the past, my sis. I hope you're doing well. Uh -huh. hmm. Always teasing you guys. Okay, so um, you can zoom forward to the actual read. I do talk about the planets, Vedic, Sidereal, Astrology. So if you hate talking astrology, not the channel for you. Um, if you are a Burger King subscriber, meaning you like to have it your way, not the channel for you. So Sal, whose channel is this for? Nobody. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It's for the people who just wants to have a good life, a good laugh. Okay. My golly. 8,000 reads that I have done. Okay. Of despair and obsessing about the soulmate. Oh my. Please. Mm, I spit on that. Yeah. So here we're 2020. You know, it's like, let's try to move, okay? Let's try to progress, okay? As a soul, all right? And that's why we do have workshops and webinars. All those are in the description box. Shameless plug-in, um, yes, I will. We need the damn coins, Sal. We need the damn coins, okay? So there's a Saturn workshop uh, webinar, January 11. Jupiter is coming. That's J December 21st. And the workshop. The workshop is new me, new you, who you. If you are that Pisces who just needs that extra push, I do more than the push. I literally just will. When you come in, I'll push you. <laughs> so it's like, why are you waiting for Pisces? Make that big change. Okay. So let's see what's going on for you guys. We'll do some intuitive. At the end of the read is a recap relapse. It's a reading that you might have forgotten or you've never seen that if you're not resonating here, you'll be read to filth on the other side. So check that out also. Okay, so let's warm things up with the Pisces. Okay, if there's any word that I'm seeing, blossoming luxury. Oh my God, love that. 12th house, of course, Sal. 12th house is about the luxury. Okay, luxury because you all lose money in the 12th house. That's you, okay. If there's anything that your emotions can be triggered, it's about, I feel like when you want something, it's not about desire, but it's just like, um, you know, there are things that, you know, that you enjoy, okay? And it's sometimes, it's a little bit overboard, but I need to have it. I need to have it. I know. <laughs> I know how you feel about those things, okay? It's just like, so I can eat tuna for every day, but when I see that Louie, but we don't slay cows, please, okay? But I'm just saying, okay, when I see that Louie, when I see that Benz, that Beamer, that Audi, I do like to have just rice, and I'm fine with that. But when I splurge, I go for it. So that's what your 2020 January is going. Blossoming luxury. Wow. I love it. It means try to handle the coins. I right. try to manage it. Okay, let me see. Oh! <laughs> You are just all about commitment to the Hierophant right away. Can we slow down, please, Pisces? So when a fish is thirsty for a relationship, we go bloop, 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 bloop. Okay. We swim, Sal. We are the sharks right now for a relationship. Slow down, Pisces, because the Taurus cannot rush. If there's anything, it will take them a century to commit. Don't worry about them. <laughs> I'm a Taurus too. Don't worry about them. Number five, so there is going to be some sort of self-expression, things that makes you happy. It can be further studies. It can be also past karma that you're getting. It's a gift. There's a gift. Chances are you're going to be getting from this person also, Hierophant. Um, I feel like this is also a gift of knowledge because the Hierophant is structured and school. So you might even have gone through back to school okay, or you're sending someone to school or you're learning something about school okay, or being a teacher. Hierophant is a teacher. Uh -huh. 
It's also a contract here. So there can be something that you want, that you desire, that makes you feel happy, but you gotta sign it. Okay, I'm not sure what... Normally that would be a car, a home, or, well, you know, so if you're going, going with Blossoming Luxury, that's that one also. Okay. So relationship. Okay, let's talk about it then. First card is strongest, as, as I always say. So how do we read to feel the higher effect? Let's go. We gave it a go. We got it. Of course, the seventh house. Let's look at the Taurus on the seventh house. I told you I taught astrology. So if you are, if you don't like astrology, it's not a champ. Okay. Let's see why this person is so slow. Uh, if you're dealing with, you look at it in the seventh house. All right. So now that you look at the seventh house, it's a Scorpio. Okay. Mysterious, little words, so little words only, and you will never know that they're obsessing about you. If there's anything, you know, there, if there's any zodiac that can be very, very obsessive, besides their placement, of course, like you know, if they have Scorpio, okay, aspecting anything aspecting a Scorpio, okay, because it is the subconscious, it is the psyche, so it's like it wants to dig deep. Uh -huh. So if it's a Taurus, it's in their seventh house. It likes to dig deep inside their head. They keep thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking. And thinking. Uh -huh. Never doing anything. Never doing anything. It will take years uh -huh, for this energy to move. Uh -huh. And chances are you're already over them before they even make a move. You're already happy. I'm already happy. Probably got married three times already. So who's that soulmate? I am on my fourth marriage already here. Hopefully not. Uh -huh. But just saying. Uh -huh. Time for them is an illusion. <laughs> they could be good readers. Okay? <laughs> because time is an illusion for commitment for them. Okay. But you got here the sun card. I love it. Love it. Love it. The sun with the hierophant. How does it work? Hmm. Your surroundings are becoming even bigger. Okay. Your networks. You're being exposed to more things. Uh, let's just say things and persona. Okay. So I like that this is coming in with your um, reading because the sun is, I feel like it's, hopefully it's not you. Okay. Hopefully it's a person. can be, right now, the sun is still in Scorpio Okay, when I'm reading this. But this is already in Sag time because okay? we, uh, we can't be tricky with a Scorpio, right? Okay, I know Pisces. I know. Okay. The sun is Sag. Mm, Sal, tell me about the Sag. This person wants to have a baby. <laughs> this person wants to have a commitment that it's about exploring. Someone here wants to explore your body, Pisces. If I if it was a song, your body is a wonderland. Ooh, your body is a wonderland. What is it? Six flags or red flag? Mm hmm Red flag, body is a wonderland. Pisces. They want to go on a tour, but your buddy, okay? Because he's a Sag, I feel here. So they want to explore. You probably want to go on a travel. It's a holiday trip with the sun card and the hierophant. I feel here the sun shows a vacay, like as always, you know, and you're feeling good, okay? Warmer weather is what I'm seeing here. Go to somewhere warm, okay? I don't feel like you're going to go on a winter trip, but you know, it's like there is this, the sun is about, um, I really want it to be the other person, just letting you know. Because I want this person to give to you because the sun is giving, okay? So the sun will give a commitment to you. It always, it says an outward energy, right? It's never inward, okay? So someone will be communicating with you. Um, if you are in a marriage, then you might have a baby with the sun card. You know, that's a baby right there. Um, this is also a high time for your, I feel like for your career. Remember, everything is going to the 10th house. And you're a Capricorn 10th house. So, huh? Am I? No, 11th house. Okay, so your desire, okay? So Saturn will give you so many things that you're desiring, but with a price to pay. And you get the world card. Mm -hmm. Saturn, okay. Ooh, what is this about? Saturn ruling our karma, okay? Meaning wherever Saturn is placed, it will happen because you have to get it, okay? So this transit with the Capricorn, okay? It, it, it is in your 11th house. What are your dreams? What are your desire? And remember, third house is desire, but material gains will be at the 11th. Because you might even get a fat, restricted paycheck. I don't know what a fat, restricted paycheck means. It means inheritance. It means um, alimony. Because, <laughs> you know, like you're, you got it, but it's not really yours to spend. Okay? It's in your name, but... Okay? Uh, it's like yours, but not yours, okay? So this is what I'm seeing here. So it can be like you won the lottery. Let's just say that. 
20 years before you can get it or you get the lump sum or look at me knowing about lottery. <laughs> you get it after taxes and you get a little bit. You understand me? Because Saturn is also Karaka of uh, career, right? Um, and it's, it's coming out from your 10th house. So each planet gives a gift. You will have a new career. You will get the career that you will have for the next 30 years. You know, it materialized already because it's a last chance, a last call, last call for Saturn. January is coming. What are you going to give to Pisces? I'm just going to make sure that they have a job for the rest of their life for the next 30 years. That's what I'm giving. I like that. Sun and the world card here. Okay. You're claiming victory with the world. Okay. I do feel here that as you, you get the world and you get the sun... Um, someone kind of misses you, you know, eight of cups, you know, someone who's left you, but you do miss them. You miss them. It can be a long distance relationship, the world and eight of cups, you know, they've been distant. You know, they said, it's like, I can't be with you. You know, it's not me. It's you. For me, it's I, it's you. It's, it's the community, you know, <laughs> it's I, it's you. <laughs> That's what I feel here. So eight of cups, okay. They felt like they pour all the cups. And you did also. I mean, like, there's no blame game here. I feel like it's okay. It's okay. Let them walk. Let them walk. Okay. Because they want to find themselves. All right. And go find yourself. You know, go. <laughs> that's right. Want to find yourself? Find yourself. Eight of cups. Okay. So, so that's fine. They go into hermit mode. But you're too busy, actually, for any kind of commitment. Now, you get the four of cups and the eight of cups. So for me, you know, when they walk away, they question themselves. That's double. It's like... Did, did I do the right thing? Should I? Should, why, why did I even do it? Uh, now they're waiting if you, if you still feel the same way. You know, they're just there, but not moving. Okay? It's, it's like, how to say this? It's like one of those things that you buy. Okay? You purchase. The ab cruncher, let's just say that. The ab cruncher. You buy it, and then it just stays there. It's always there. So this is that kind of person, an ab cruncher. Because <laughs> you got it. It was a thing in the TV, QVC, CVS, I don't know, Walgreens, whatever. You want to shop. Okay? You got it. And then, you know, it's just there. And this is like a silent thing. Should I touch it? Should I not? Me, maybe tomorrow. I don't feel it, you know. So there's that energy. And I feel like you're like that to our relationship. Should I? Wouldn't I? You know, it's like, it's there, but mm, 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 I'm enjoying my life. <laughs> That's what I'm seeing here. Because you got the sun. That's so good. Yeah. And you got the hermit card. Okay, also. So you're becoming more spiritually aligned. Okay. So spiritual enlightenment, it's... Okay, here's what I've learned. Okay. Remember, I talk here. Okay. So I have to share this because, you know, it's like I meant to share everything that I know, but some, of course, I won't. Mm -hmm. But they want me to share this. So I was going to meditation, right, Pisces? And then this meditation, okay, because it's like, of course, I tap into people's energy and it's, that's regular for me. That's just like, you know, just like for me, popping soda or whatever. Okay. So I was thinking, it's just like, you know, all this desire of relationship, blah, blah, blah. It's, this is nothing new. This is nothing new at all, but this is new for me. Okay. Like, your commitment and your relationship with your God, with your Creator, with your Source, whoever you align yourself with, that's where it should be the priority. And this human people over here, it's just the second, okay? And which is you are the moksha, right? You are the end of the zodiac. You're the highest spiritual, um, you know, zodiac. In, you're the 12. You're done. People die when they go to the 12, all right? Because they go to, you know, to their source. And the Hermit with the Sun card, I feel here that you have established such a strong connection with your creator that nothing can face that soul tie. You know, Sammy. Meaning, you know, like the world can be at war, but hopefully there's no war, but you have inner peace. You know, it's just like, yep, that's the nuclear thing coming on me and you embrace God, right? And there's like, uh, like you are at peace within. Like at any time, the creator can take you, but nobody's going to take you. <laughs> yes, Sammy, you are already at peace. That is so good. I love that. Because inner peace um, is connected to your inner child. Have you seen, okay, a one-year-old with anxiety? They have inner peace, okay? They just want their mashed potato, and that's peace right there. Right? But they don't like green peas now, okay? They, it's filthy, okay? You see that one? The inner child is the inner peace. 
Have you seen a two-year-old? I don't feel I belong here. I don't feel. No. They feel like they got a fart. Okay? And they fart like crazy. Okay? That's the inner child. Inner peace, inner child. Live it. You got a three of wands. Opportunities being unlocked. Travel is there. Looking for a brighter future. I always say three of wands wait for the sun. The opportunity that you have been waiting for, it's coming to you. Did you ever wonder the sun just goes where whenever it wants to, when it's in, it, it had its own time? But it always comes to you, right? You don't walk. It's like, I'm going to walk to the sun. Uh, no, the sun comes to us. It's a giving energy. So someone will give you an opportunity that you just have to wait for it. You just have to stay there. Don't do much. If it's a relationship, I feel like it's just going to come to you. And it comes to you. Far of wind. <laughs> It's right here. What do you want me to say? Uh huh. What do you want me to say? Uh, so relationship comes to you naturally here. Um, of course, you're gonna have the Pisces who's like, why? But I've never got in a relationship. One, because you don't do your Vedic sidereal. It probably is not a Pisces. Just saying. You don't know your ascendant, huh? You don't know your moon sign, huh? You don't know your Navamsha chart. You gotta learn. Okay. You've been watching me for three years and you still don't know your placement. Uh, <laughs> Then it's not you. <laughs> this is a person. Because with, uh, with the world card, you know yourself. Mm -hmm. You know yourself. That's embracing yourself in, in this deck. Four of Wands. Okay. So let's explore this uh, Hierophant with the Four of Wands. Okay. So it is a relationship focus time. Okay. Let me see what's going on then in your chart. Hush, hush. Don't tell the other zodiac that I'm going to read your chart. Okay. Because you know. Okay, Gemini might got jealous. I've been flirting with all the zodiac. That's me. Mm-hmm. That's it. So Pisces, why is it that you are focused on relationship? I put the 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 zod the the, the prediction December uh Jan January fifteen already. Okay, let me see. Ooh, well, interesting because that time Moon is in Virgo, which is at your seventh house. So that's fine. Okay, but let me see where Venus and Jupiter is. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Oh dear. Okay. Now I know. Because Venus is going to come soon to you. That is so fast. I can't believe that. That is so fast. Because Venus is in Aquarius here right now. So at any moment after this, chance or the next 30 days, after this month of January 15, expect it more around January 15 to February. Oh, hello, Valentine's. Okay, so I feel like that time when Venus goes to Pisces, fine, let me move the planets for you guys. Okay, so can you please, if you have a minute, can you do that for us? Why would I sing now? It's the Pisces. Oh. Soon you, your reading will be butchered once I move you guys back to the 12th. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> so don't do that. Oh, I like the water. So. Yep, on February 15, Venus is in um, Pisces, 16 degrees. And that's going to be in Uttara Bhadrapada. And Uttara Bhadrapada is um, Mercury ruled? Oh, no. Um, yeah, Mercury ruled. Okay. So there will be communication about relation. Oh, uh, Saturn. 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 Um, um, so it can be that when Venus sits... Oh, it's Venus and Saturn, they're fine together. So don't worry about that. Um, and But Venus aspects, okay, it, it looks the seventh house. It's active. When it's sitting in the first, the seventh is active. That's where you look, okay? So those is that that's the axis. I mean that's the um, aspect that you need to look at. So relationship will be a focus that time, okay, February fifteen, and you just need to be prepared for this because I feel like you're gonna be so busy with. Mm, mm, I feel like you're so busy with career, Pisces. You're so busy on. I feel like you're so busy with your career. Like it might take, um, it might take the time away from relationship. Okay, so I'm not sure what's going on at that time because that's Leo far right February already. But um, just a heads up for you guys. Okay, travel. That time is good. You have Sun in Aquarius. Sun does not like Saturn. I understand that. But the sun for me is vacation and it's in the 12th house. So you will spend a lot of money though. So that's why Saturn does not like sun. He's like, why are you burning money? Well, sun wants to. Okay. <laughs> um, and then you have Mercury over here. Um, online business can be good also at that time. 
Um, well, Saturn now sits on the 11th. So everything you gain, see, this is good. Saturn is controlling your gains. Okay. So sa the sun, you know, the you might go on vacation, but you might find first a good deal. You know, you're going to go for it or you, you're going shopping for something luxury. And then you, you, you will have to find a good deal. It's like, yes, that's a good, that's good, that's good. But let me get a discount. You're being practical. That's good. Okay. So Pisces, I'm going to continue this reading as you face... I feel like it's it's a relationship that you're going to be facing this January, okay? Because your last card is the Four of Wands. Next to this is the Recap Relapse. If you do not resonate with this, that might be your reading. Um, join me in the in the workshop or in the webinar if you guys are not available. Um, with the Hierophant over here, with the Four of Cups, someone misses you. You're going to a deep soul connection within oneself. And the Three of Wands here, what you've been waiting for is coming to you. And it can be the person who's walked away also. But we'll see in extended. Okay? Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And a major cycle has ended. The Saturn is here. Uh -huh. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I'll see you guys on the other side. Um, and this is your 2020 January. Bye, Pisces. Hi, Pisces. How are you? It is January 2019. How was the fireworks? How was the party? How was the open bar? Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> this is your January 2019. Let's get first the one for you guys. Uh, this is a monthly. We choose the one. Let's see what one we have for you guys. Here we go. Ah, very nice. Okay. I'm not sure what it is, but you know, in in show business, you, you say a lot of stuff, so there's no dead air. So you go, oh, very nice, da-da-da, you know. <laughs> and then you're processing it, processing it, right? Okay. Think, Sal. Think what it is. I feel, okay, this is a nice one. That's what I feel. <laughs> no, I always forget this one. But I know it's very angelic, that's for sure. I know one thing here is, um, I forgot. Uh, it's not adventuring. Um dragon something it's like about dragon i forgot what it's called but it's very nice okay <laughs> and there's gonna there's all description in my website okay so <laughs> one i feel like this is prote not protective more of angelic okay that's what i know okay january 2000 you know it here you know pines are all candid over here okay so let's begin now with your prediction. We have tarot, cartomancy, and then intuitive. All right. So let's see where this is headed. Pisces. Okay. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Here we go. January 2019. Pisces. Two of Wands. Wondering where to go, what to do. You know, this is that. Um, you're looking at the, you know, you're looking at, oh, it's like what's I wonder what's out there, you know? You're being more of an um how to say this? Is it optimist? But you're looking you're looking bright like it's just like all right, it's like I know there's something good out there. Um but right now this is where I'm at. So you're standing your ground, definitely. Two of Wands is like I'm standing my ground. If this is a person, they're not gonna make a move, okay? There can be distance between the two of you, you met them in an app, online, you know, all those stuff. Um, both of you could probably live somewhere that you, you know, overlooking something. So you overlook something and then you're just wondering, like, all right, wonder when this person is coming. I wonder when this person is texting, you know. Let me see here. Other person. King of Pentacles. I think they're behind you. It's a little creepy, but they're near you. Okay. <laughs> you're looking somewhere when they're already, boo. I think we had this reading with you, Pisces, where they bump into you or something like that. Okay. You're bumping to a lot of people, just saying, okay. <laughs> you need to watch where you're going, okay. King of Pentacles, um, what you're looking for, it's like, look, turn around. Okay, not the song. Turn around right now. Ta -na 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 -na. <laughs> so turn around, okay. This is this energy here. You have, they're just behind you, or vice versa, if you're a cross-watcher. Someone is ready over here with the King of Pentacles. But you probably, either you don't like this person. I'm sorry, Crosswatcher. Okay. You, you're you looking for a second. I want someone else. Three of Cups. Interesting. So, because you have here, 
you don't really want to engage with people you're more on your questioning is like well if this is person will make me happy you know because this is in your subconscious that's what i'm feeling so two of ones to the three of cups you know it's like it's in your subconscious you're thinking of it's like well i'm not sure if this person is going to make me happy but let me think about it okay i feel like you're you know that you have options um it's more like you want good choices this time okay oh wow they're good choice over here you got the emperor and the king of pentacles okay so that's a good choice okay sorry that so that's a good choice um because they're they're very much ready i told you emperor uses the king of pentacles meaning this person is a businessman supervisor um army um someone who runs their own shift who runs their own clock um they're self-made also with the king of pentacles they um probably have a business partner also they're very career driven um however I'm sorry about that one okay so they're career driven okay they're career driven and they're um they can be older as an emperor more mature um the other thing with the having ace of pen a king of pentacles with the emperor they they work a lot you know that's why your question is like okay well does this person make me happy because if they work a lot okay eight of swords Mm, two of wands eight of swords with three of cups you're trying to figure it out because you feel that i've been i'm free right now and just like any fish we want to swim in the ocean okay this is what you're saying it's like i don't want to be in the pond anymore sal i'm a big fish now oh you know that movie big fish that was a very nice movie big fish okay so you wanna you want to grow this is your k2 k2 you drop in a pond keeps growing growing and growing and growing okay so you want growth for yourself and you feel like well if this is a person who kind of like like you know it's like wow this person really likes me this person really wants to commit da, da, da. it's like you, you you feel like i just swim to another pond from from a pond to an ocean why would i want to go back to like not having the sense of freedom oh and the strength card okay so i told you this person has the energy to really very commitment oriented strength card these people rules the heart okay so leos all right and you do want to be in a relationship mm. fourth house mm. you have fourth and fifth they feel good if there's someone loving them mm -hmm. try to remove that heart good luck with the leo they die mm -hmm. always want to look like they're all doing good okay nope this person as much as they feel that you know their career is their purpose da 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 they don't see it it's like without a person that they can that they can love their career means nothing they know that's why they're commitment oriented but you're not <laughs> sorry you're just you're just a fish here right now you're exploring yourself let me see what the cartomancy here like who has time for relationship really it's Leo's Aries. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't worry about them. Okay. Been there, done that. <laughs> Here we go. Cartomancy. Ten of Hearts. You are so in love with yourself. That's good. That's good. Go to salon. You know, get that get that perm. Okay, if that exists. Go go to the spa. Treat yourself. Okay. And that's where you're at right now. I know you're gonna be like um, I still want someone to take care of me. I understand that. And this is a person who would take care of you. But I feel like, you know, like do it for yourself first. Don't allow this person to come to your life. I'll, I'll take care of you. Because then if they take it away, then you're gonna feel like, oh, I lost someone. Awakening this person. They have the hangman. Oh, they're all about you. You're the Pisces. Mm. You bring the change in their life. Okay? Basically, if you're a fish, you're tuna toro. <laughs> okay. Very nice, fatty part of the tuna. Okay. Mm, that's good. Okay. <laughs> Let me see here. So, they've never tasted the best sushi in their life. And let's just say, you're the wasabi. <laughs> Let me see here. A divide. 
Ten of Pentacles, dear Lord. Good luck with this person. They're all about commitment. Mm -hmm. I think 2019 is a shift for people who... 2018 was for the, for the chasers. Uh, for the runners. For the chasers. Chasing, chasing, chasing. 2019, with all, with, from you as the last zodiac, a lot of the chaser becomes a runner. I'm not sure what happened. Maybe I will not. They're, they're telling me, it's like, I don't have a maybe. I know what happens. Okay, so here we go. Okay. <laughs> so I like to put it as a maybe. They say, it's not a maybe. You know what happens. Remember the blue moon, blood moon, three eclipses? It takes six months for that energy to bring the change in people's life. It happened July. It's already six months. The chasers, they don't want commitment anymore. They're running away. The runners, they want to chase now. It's a dynamic shift. It's a food chain. Okay? Eat or be eaten. Right now, I feel the fish needs to swim. This one wants to swim with you. Mm. Let's see if they can swim with you. Because it's good, Pisces, that you have self-love. When you have self-love, really, it's just like you have everything that is coming your way. It's just like a happy day. Okay? It's like you're Drew Barrymore. And uh, with, when she always is waking up, uh, you know, it's like it's a new day. Waking up, it's a new day. At least you're not, um, what do you call that, Groundhog Day. Okay? You're more on the Drew Barrymore side. Okay? Because Groundhog Day is a different thing. Okay? So you're waking up to your senses that you have found that I love myself. And so it's like, I know I always love myself. I just never took care of myself. So you're taking care of yourself. So now run. Keep swimming. Because this one, they're going to keep chasing. Alrighty. So I'm going to continue this reading. Remember, they want the long and lasting love. If you know that this is coming your way, why settle now? Keep running. That's what they keep saying. Keep running until they commit. Keep running, running, running. If there's a movie, Pisces, run for us, run. Okay? Let's see how this goes. And the crowd watcher is going to hate because now they have to play. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll see you guys again. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, Pisces. It's a good new year. Just keep running. They keep coming anyway. Mm -hmm. I'll see you guys. Bye.